we've got a swarm. This is 2020 May. May 23rd? 24th? <laughs> 22nd? And it's going in instead of coming out, which is wonderful. So hopefully, look at these beautiful bees. Hopefully we'll have a strong colony that survives. We shall see. They're checking everything out. Look at them going in there. That's not really a place for them. But over here, I'm just going to move back. You can see they're going in. Side. Now I am out here without my suit on to show you how gentle they are right now. She just flew away. Got one on my face and <laughs> she just flew away. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Look at these beautiful bees. So much fun. Welcome bees. Now this is a modified Ware Kenyan hive hybrid that my friend Peter created for me. And I don't know if I got his picture at the beginning or if I was so excited about the swarm, but I got a call, I got a knock on my door just a few minutes ago informing me that we had visitors moving in. <laughs> so excited about it. <laughs> this is wonderful. I think I'm gonna move my ware hive into the sun because that seems to be far more tempting for swarms than a hive in the shade. So we're gonna move them and we'll see what happens. Just Wonderful. Wonderbar. <laughs> this is awesome. Best treat ever. Thank you, girls. Another one, come to say hello. Isn't she beautiful? Can't really focus on her. That's so exciting. Well, I'm gonna have to do some changing in my scheduling because this is just too exciting not to share. Aren't bees beautiful?
Now, if anyone knows what these weeds are, I'm really interested. I let them grow this year because they smell fantastic. So if anybody knows what these tall weeds are with the white flowers, please, please, please let me know if they're edibles, if they're herbal. And this is the perfect spot for this hive because it's right next to a late blooming Japanese knotweed. So they bloom right after the blackberries. And then of course I've got lots and lots of my um, <laughs> lovely acai. Is that what it is? No, it's not acai. I call them the wrong thing all the time. But it's the little red berries. And I, I'll put it in the description here. We've got this coming in nice and thick. This has a purple flower, and of course, I don't know if the bees like it or not, but I love my um, <laughs> sweet peas. But this is the plant I'm tr trying to identify right here. And it's got a white flower. I think it's from the carrot family, but I'm not sure. Let's give you another update down here. They're finding the inside of the hives. And I think I opened that up entirely. If not, I will organize it once they're settled. But that was way up in the air and now they're all down there. Welcome, welcome. I don't even have to worry about these guys flying away. They have settled right in. They're not being forced or coerced. They've just found shade and spice. <laughs> oh. This is exciting. at it. Let me show you the other pretty pretties. This is just about finished blooming but it's so beautiful. So we got flowers all over the ground right now. My rain barrel. My swarm. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh look, a little baby ladybug too landed on me. Let's give her a flower. These are so pretty. Go we'll find some, some aphids to eat and keep my roses happy. Wow, that didn't take long at all freaked out and settled right in. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe. I will be posting this on the Capital Region Beekeepers Association website as well. So if you're a member, say hi. <laughs> I miss you guys. I will get in on one of those Zoom meetings for sure. Bye for now.